I'm Allison Feinmel. This is Hungry Creek Middle School. I teach math. This is my accelerated 6-7 math class. Today we are going to start the difference between experimental and theoretical probability. All right, guys. Here's your number talk. Read it. If you flip a coin twice, you always get heads once. Patrick. Um, that's not correct because <coughs> probability, so probability is. You want to think and I'll come back to you? Yeah. Okay. Logan? That is false because it's a 50% chance, so you could have a chance of doing uh, tails twice or even heads twice, but you could get either way, but it's false because you don't always get heads once. Okay. Isaiah? Uh, you could get tails twice, but you could, this is like, I could you could get tails once and tails once, but you could, it's, it's like a 50-50. Okay. Reagan? It is false because, say we flipped we just flipped a coin right now. We None of us in here would know if it was heads or tails. It can't just be, what if it was tails the entire time? But we wouldn't know. Okay. No. Go ahead, finish, I'm sorry. No, no. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, just because it's 50%, that's its probability percent, doesn't mean it's always going to happen that way. It's just how they had to write it out. Do you think it would always be 50 50? No, with different, um, with different outcomes, it could be 25 25, 25 25, or different chances of percent. Okay. Patrick, do you get it to get your thoughts yeah. going? Uh, so, probability is also based on luck. So, just because there's a 50% chance of something happening and you do it twice doesn't mean that the 50% chance will happen. Okay. It's theoretically, it's if you flip a coin twice, it should be hedged because it's a 50-50, but, but in actuality, that's probably never going to happen if you just keep doing it over and over. Okay. Anybody else? I am? I don't know if it's correct or not, but uh, one half times one half would equal one fourth, so that means to get to get both heads, it would be a 25% chance, not a 50% chance. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you gave me some good answers, all right? So some of you think that it's not going to be able to happen because we've got a 50% chance of one happening versus the other one happening, and just because it's supposed to be 50% doesn't mean it always is going to be 50%. All right, well the same thing could happen when you roll your two dice. Now remember from Thursday, I gave you the um, directions for the Sum It Up game. And we talked about whether or not you thought if we rolled two dice, if you thought we would roll a two, three, four, nine, 10, 11, or 12, blue would get a point. And if we rolled a five, six, seven, or eight, pink would get a point. And if we rolled 21 times, which, which color would win? Well, you wrote that answer on your computer last class. But we didn't have time to talk about it. So right now, get out your computer. Find what you wrote. Don't change your mind because you fought about it over the weekend. Don't change your mind. I want to know what your original thought was. What is your original thought?
All right, now, I just want you to raise your hand, and again, don't change your mind, okay? I told you, no right, wrong answers right now. Raise your hand if you think if we roll two dice that 2, 3, 4, 9, 10, 11, or 12 will win if we roll the dice 21 times. Raise your hand. Don't change your minds. Just raise your hand. And you got to vote. You got to vote. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. All right. So twenty-two of you think that the blue card's gonna win. Okay. How many of you think the pink? Oh, think the pink card is gonna win. One, two, three. Four. I'm missing some people. Peyton, you remember what you said? You weren't here, okay. All right, was anybody else not here Thursday? All right, we'll go with four then. All right, so let's start then with pink. Those of you that chose pink to win, why do you think pink will win? Zach? Because every single time I play Monopoly, I'm more likely, for me at least, to get a 5, 6, 7, or 8 than a 2, 3, 4, 10, 11, 12, and 9. Okay, so you're just thinking about when you play Monopoly. Yeah, it's, okay. I've done it so many times that it basically looked like it was better to pick 5, 6, 7, 8 than the others. Okay, I am why you choose pink. Because I believe pink has more, like, additive together. I don't know how to explain it, but it has more ways to make them. Than the other okay, more ways to make make pink, make, to make those yeah. pink numbers. Okay, all right, Parker. Um, I chose pink because all the numbers are in the middle of the pink numbers, mm -hmm. and I think it's more likely to roll more than one numbers adding up to what's in the middle of the number line. Okay, all right. Why do you think blue is gonna win? Zuri, why is blue going to win? Um, blue has more numbers, so it's having a, a better chance of winning. So because there's more numbers, 2, 3, 4, yeah. 9, 10, 11, or 12, there's more of them, you think that blue will win, okay? Yusuf? Yeah, blue has seven options of winning, while pink only has four, so I predict that blue will win. Okay. Isaiah? Uh, blue has more Okay, so you're saying he could win if depending on the outcome. Okay, Alex? I think that blue will win because blue has seven different numbers to win from, but pink only has four numbers to win from. And blue has like some numbers like in the lower and like upper ends, like two, three, four, and then like 10, 11, and 12. And that's why I think you'll have like a bigger chance of winning. Okay, Reagan? Um, I chose blue because one, they have more numbers. Um, and they also have like less, they have a combination of a higher number and a lower number and then kind of in the middle. So I feel like you get a more chance of getting those numbers with adding the dice up if you have two dice. Okay. All right, Patrick, then Logan, and then we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna experiment. I think you will win because there are seven numbers that you can win by and only four for pink. But also, the whole thing is based on luck, so it can go either way. So you think it's based on luck? Yeah, like what the, you want. Okay. Logan? Like everybody else said, blue has seven options, but pink only has four, so I think blue will play more outcomes. Okay. Well, let's see. All right, close the lids to your computers. Don't slam them. So on your table are the two dice. There's a dry erase marker and an eraser. You need one person at the table to be a recorder, but everybody at the table, everybody at the table gets to roll. All right? The dice must stay on the table. I do not want them 
um, going all over the floor. Also, when you roll two dice, you roll them together, and you don't pick them up and just drop them back down again to try to get an outcome. Okay, it's all chance. All right, now, I told you how to play before. We've actually talked about how to play. But remember, don't roll your dice yet. Remember, you're going to roll your dice. And the first roll, if you get a 2, 3, 4, 9, 10, 11, or 12, you can put a mark here. You can just put a check or a, or a slash or whatever you want. Okay? Now remember, if the second roll, you get a 5, 6, 7, or 8, don't put the mark here because that's the second roll. The second roll goes there. And whatever the third roll happens to be, and then the fourth roll, whatever you get, make sure you're not, you're not starting at the top and working your way down. Okay? Does everybody understand that? Yes. Okay. So, I want you to take turns rolling, one person record, and make sure you give them time to record. Okay? Don't start rolling so fast that they can't keep up. All right? All right. You ready? Go. And that is an eight. eight. So that's Are you Charles or Charlie? Right, come on, keep going. And nine. 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 Maybe that's the number. That's three. That's blue. That's eight. eight. Wait, what is that? What was it? Uh, seven. Seven. Eight. 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 Twelve, that's us. because I hear it so many times. All right, so the prediction was, by a, by a pretty much a long, a long shot, was that Blue was going to win. Now, first thing we're going to do is see by table who would won. You guys are my biggest class, so it'll be interesting to see how yours compare with my classes from last week that did it, that did it on Friday. Okay, who won over here? Pink. Who won over here? Pink. Who won back there? Pink. Who won back here? Blue. Who won here? Pink. Who won here? Pink. Who won here? Blue. So it was three blue tables? 
two blue tables to five. To five. But let's see how close you really, really were. Okay, so when I when you I want you to tell me your actual numbers. How many pink um, over here? Sorry, and blue. Thirteen. Okay. What about you guys? How many pink and blue? Uh, twelve pink and nine blue. All right. What about you guys? Pink and blue. Um, eight blue, thirteen pink. All right. In the back. Seven blue, fourteen. Okay, y'all. Pink one pretty handily back there. What about you guys? 11 blue, 10 pink. All right, y'all were pretty close. What about you guys? Uh, 13 pink and 8 blue. 18 pink? 18. And here. 12 pink, 9 blue. 12 pink and 9 blue. All right, let's see. 20, 33, 47, 57, 70, 82 pink. And... 22, 30, 37, 48, 56, 65. Oh, that doesn't matter. Well, yeah, it does. Okay, so 82 pink rolls and 65 blue rolls. Is that consistent with your prediction? No. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yes. 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 Okay. yes. Okay. Is there a number that you rolled a particular amount? Alexa, five. you rolled a lot of eights. Yeah, we rolled like five. What did you? What you rolled a lot of fives. Five was the one of pink card. Okay. Would you roll a lot of? Seven. Seven. I have to agree with Layla. Seven. Okay. We also rolled a lot of tens. You rolled a lot of tens, which is on the blue card. I think we rolled a lot of eights. A lot of eights. Okay. A lot of sixes. All right. Did anybody roll a lot of twos? No. Anybody roll a lot of twelves? No, because it's only one combination each. Okay. All right. Thank you for coming to our class today. I hope you enjoyed our lesson on probability. Go Cougars!